Alright everybody, welcome to the first assembly tutorial for uh, the Age of Sigmar box and what I'm going to look at is the Blood Stoker and the uh, Corn Grath or Gareth or whatever the heck that thing, big monster is called. So I'm going to do, uh, do a quick assembly of this. I've already got all the parts clipped out and cleaned up and I'll just show you how they all go together. So I've already done a little bit of dry fitting and um, so the, the Blood Stoker guy, he's pretty straightforward. You've got your main body with your uh, flails there and he's just going to get this piece here. Now for assembly I like to use uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Glue and uh, the reason I like that is because it for parts that are so nicely fitting like this you just kind of squeeze them together put a bit of glue on the edges and it flows right through so it works really no nicely like that. Um, you can also put a little bit of glue on one surface Add the part on, make sure it uh, it fits on there nicely. And because these parts fit so snugly, um, just a little bit of glue is all you need. So I just add a little bit more there, and that's that. And then his one last arm here, that's connected up to his uh, top knot ponytail thing. Oh, and that's going to go just like that. Let's get some glue in there. So there's a little notch there that I've got to get lined up just right. Ah, oh, there we go. Just got to get the angle there. Once it's perfect, it just fits in nicely. And then a bit of glue up here. Try to get that in there as well. Okay, so I'm going to uh, squeeze that together off camera, but I'll continue assembling the uh, the big creature. So these parts all fit together really nicely. I've dry fit everything. It's actually quite amazing how they all fit together. So uh, when you hear people sort of saying how amazing these models are um, on the internet, just like you're watching this, it's because of the way they fit together. Just such a nice fit. Now there's going to be a bit of a seam there. That's okay. Um, Let's get some glue in that. But for the most part, uh, most of the seams are going to be hidden um, just in the way this all kind of fits nicely together. Now, because I've accessed the inside here, I'll put a bit of glue in there and a bit of glue on the underside here. So there we go. The first piece, the next uh, piece goes on the back as well. Squeeze it in like that. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this guy first is because the first scenario um, calls for this guy, the Blood Stoker, and the, uh, the mounted hero for the. Uh, forces of Sigmar. So I figure I, if I'm going to paint anything first, let's do the ones that uh, are called for in the scenarios because I'd like to try those out. And I always like to try things out with uh, painted models. Much It's much more interesting when you've got painted models. Okay, so this just snaps in there. Now unfortunately my parts were damaged uh, in transit. Um, I guess the way that they sit in the box, uh, they actually marked up my uh, campaign book or the background book that came in the box so um, unfortunately I'm missing a couple spikes there but really nice fit on all these models anyways so give it a bit of a squeeze and whenever I use the uh, the plastic glue like this you gotta make sure you don't leave any fingerprints on anything so that and then this piece on the front here now that could have been left off for painting. Might have been a bit easier to paint it without that on, but that's fine. Alright, that's that. And then we have this uh, armored piece here kind of going on there. I'm going to add a bit of glue. So these, uh, these parts here are really, really amazing. Uh, the amount of detail 
and uh, how much uh, design went into them. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing when you consider how far these models have come. Now they aren't cheap, so you kind of expect that, but uh, these are these are pretty much the best models out there. That's that's my opinion, and uh, pretty impressed with the uh, the level of detail, the way they fit, all that. There's no no uh, no disappointment here. That's for sure. Okay, so that detail there, and then this uh, crazy head type thing. Almost looks like a savage orc headdress. It's pretty, uh, pretty weird. It's kind of odd because you, it's hard to tell, oops, hard to tell which part is the actual head and which part is uh, sort of decorative. Um, so I think that little tiny skull in there is the face, but it's hard to say because the, the whole corn feature makes it look like there's another a secondary face on there. Can't quite tell. Okay, and then the last piece here will be this arm underneath so yeah if you haven't checked out my blog I've got uh, lots of tutorials up there I'll have finished pictures of this I'll probably compare this to the uh, the slaughter brute from dark vengeance um, because it has such a similar feel to the model although it is rather different it has a similar pose I think that's why they look they feel similar and uh, we'll show those side by side and be sure to check back for future videos of assembly and painting of all the Age of Sigmar. See you next time.